Coach, obviously a big win over the team's rival. What did you like most about your team's performance tonight? I just like the way we started the game. I thought we came out, uh, we were hungry, you know, guys were excited, you know, uh, they, they respected the rivalry, and uh, I thought they all played well for 40 minutes. Last 40 minutes, because Darius said you guys played hard for 38 minutes. Well, yeah, about 38. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll go with Darius. I thought there was a stretch there, but we didn't play UCF basketball. But like you said, I always give them credit for that. And I thought, you know, during that stretch, I thought, I thought the Bulls were playing really well, and, and they had gained some, gained some momentum. And uh, we were able to turn it and then uh, get it back in our favor after that. Better on the boards tonight than in that last matchup. Week. Definitely. You know, we concentrated on that, you know, this week, of course. Uh, I thought that was probably our worst rebound performance since we've been here. So for our guys to, to really focus on that this week and not just to focus on it in practice, but then to come out and execute it, you know, says a lot about our guys, you know, because they really concentrated making sure that we didn't give up second and third offensive rebound opportunities. I think what they had eight offensive boards tonight, 21 the first time. So that was a big turnaround. Notice you had the uh, two uh, point guards in the starting lineup and then Brandon Mayhan came off the bench to hit that first three to kind of spark the first half effort. How cool was it to see Brandon do that? You know, it was really good to see Brandon. Brandon came in and, and gave us a big lift. You know, not only did he make some shots, but also he's very active defensively. You know, he does a lot for us out there that, that goes unnoticed. He moves the ball well. So, no, he, he was a you know, key contributor to it, especially that first half, that first half as we started to build the lead. After the Houston loss, you said you wanted to approach practice differently in this week. Did you do that? No, absolutely. I approached it, you know, more with a, the mindset of, you know, you know, physicality, you know, the boxing out and rebounding. We drilled a lot of those things a, a little more than we would normally do, just to emphasize that, you know, the physicality that we're going to face against them, but the teams that we're going to face, you know, coming down the stretch of the season as well. So I think just setting the tone and having our guys embrace the way the game is being played, and that's something that I thought they did tonight. You know, we're talking about. Both Darius and Darren had electric nights, especially on offense. Can you talk a little bit about the spark they brought to the game and, and how they feed off of each other, too? Well, I thought they both were terrific. Uh, I thought all of our guards were really, I thought Brandon being the other guard who started the most, maybe the first game we've had all three of those guys hitting on all cylinders in, in quite a while. So it was good to see them, you know, making shots. And when they're making shots, they're electric. And uh, they've done that at different portions of the season. And it just makes us a different team. And so I was really happy for them. They set a tone out there right away, you know, offensively by moving well, setting each other up, screening for each other, and then knocking down the shots. So, Coach, we had a, you got the uh, previous game with USF going the way it did, and then you got all three, your veteran guards lighting up like we were talking about trying to make happen here. Um, what was different about this game to make all that come together? You know, I think it was the preparation. I thought we had a really good week of prep. You know, we started off on Monday and our guys really were locked in. There was a certain concentration that we had and I thought it carried over into to the game. You know, they knew how big a game it was. They knew it was our rival and our, they respected that. And I thought, you know, I think when you respect something like that, I think this is the type of performance that you have. I thought our guys really came out with an edge. They were hungry right from the start and they played that way for the entire game. The student section was filled early, and they were loud. What did you think of that? Uh... You know, I love that. You know, that's my vision here, you know, from day one, is, is to have a student section filled and have this arena filled, because I think we can. I think we can put something out there that, that's such a good product from the standpoint of this community that it will make everybody proud, UCF, you know, our surrounding community of Orlando, and our students. And uh, I think we've shown glimpses of, the, of that this year, and, uh, and, and our guys haven't really let them down. You know, they've come out. And I think our guys have given performances worthy of that. And, and if we keep doing that, we can build something special here. Was this more of the UCF defense that you like to see? Definitely. <laughs> this is who we want to be. And I think partly it was the game plan. I thought our guys really executed it well. You know, there's a different game plan for everyone that you play, as you can imagine. And I thought our guys really followed the plan real well. And they didn't stray from it throughout the entire game. Uh, they knew the personnel, they knew who, who to guard a certain way, and, and you could just see it out there. And, and that's what you have to see. And that's just growing and developing. Like you have a group of players here, some young, some old. Everybody's at a different stage of development. And so you kind of have to work through that. But, but they're learning, and, and like I said, their concentration was great this week, their focus was there, and I think it showed, like I said, tonight. When you see that, then how do you build on that to be consistent and come out with that same defensive effort? when you hit the road now at Memphis? We have to keep working the way we've been working. This is going to be a quick turnaround, so unfortunately we, have, you know, we can't go but so much tomorrow, and then we fly out right after practice tomorrow to go down to Memphis. So we have to do a lot more you know, watching tape, 
you know, maybe not as much on their legs, but watching tape and walking through different things in practice, but making sure that it stays intense because I think the, the more intense we can make things, the more our guys have responded to that. And so we want to continue to build on it. Managed yeah. to repel USF for, uh, to uh, split with them uh, on the year so far. But going into Memphis, you have an opportunity to sweep them. How big of a, uh, how big would that be if you guys pull that off? You know, it's a great opportunity for us. You know, we're going down there. I think they're playing well, and uh, you know, we want to continue to play well. And so, what we need to do is go down there, prepare it, and uh, and give it our best shot. You know, it's going to be a great environment, I'm sure, like it always is there. Our guys should be very excited about that, and uh, look forward to competing. That's a place, though, that UCF has not always played very well. Do you think the venue plays a little factor in that? Is there a bit of an adjustment being an NBA room? Uh, you know, probably because of the size of the, of the arena, but, but our guys, uh, we don't want to make any excuses. We, just, we have to play better, and, and when we haven't, it's because they played very well. You know, I think for us to, to go in there, you know, with a positive mindset, go in there, understanding that, you know, for us to have a chance, we have to play UCF basketball. We can't get lulled into playing into their style. We have to play our style of basketball, and that will give us an opportunity to compete. January, when this, January was a bumpy month for you guys, ups and downs. Um, but start the month of February with a win. Like, what can this win do for you? You know, as you get closer to March. Well, going back to January, you have to remember we're we're in a very good conference, <laughs> and uh, and we have a tough schedule, and we've had a tough schedule all year. So, for us, I think part of the maturation process for us is going through the things that we've gone through. I don't think any team gets away with going through a season without any adversity. You're going to have it, and it's, it's what you do with that adversity. And uh, that's what I think we went through in, in, in January. Hopefully, because we've gone through that, it's going to prepare us for a lot better February. And so we're excited about the start of this new month. You know, February is one month you know, ahead of March. And so for us, you know, it's that time of year. And, and you want to be playing your best basketball now. And, uh, and, and uh, hopefully we can continue that trend of what we started today. When the game was originally scheduled with Memphis, they were supposed to play tonight on the road, so they were going to have a short layoff like you are. Now that game was canceled because of weather, so they've had extra time to prepare. I know no one can control the weather, but you couldn't have been happy when you heard about that. <laughs> no, absolutely. I mean, that gives them an opportunity, like I said, to spend a lot of time on what we do. And, and uh, But you know what? The good thing is you have to play the game. And so we're excited to go there and play and compete. I'm sure they'll be looking forward to that game as well, and, and we'll see what happens. Coach, one of the things that you've built in your program is to treat every opponent as, you know, the, the most talented team in the country. But when these games in February and March, with that margin of error thinning, how does that? How do you get that message to reign true here in February? Well, I love it. First of all, I, I love this time of year. I mean, it's the you know, best time for college basketball. You know, games. You know, take on all new meaning. You know, whole new meaning. You know, every possession becomes even that much more important now. And so that's an exciting time. And, and, I, and I talk to my guys about that, about, hey, it's that time of year. We want to be playing our best basketball now. And uh, so let's go. And, you know, we're going to continue to coach them through it. It's, it's still a learning process for some of the younger players, but my experienced guys have been through this with me before. They, they know the magnitude of the games that we have coming up, and, and we're going to prepare for them that way. You know, Coach, you mentioned um, challenges that uh, uh, Memphis may have um, a bit of time going into uh, the coming game to prepare. But um, what advantage would you have having a shorter tur uh, turnaround? Um, is there something that would keep you more focused? Uh, this kind of comes from a place I was talking to Coach Ape about this last week, so wondering your take on it. No, for us, I mean, the good thing is that we've been playing, so we should be in some type of a rhythm, you know, just coming off of a game, and, and even though it's going to be a quick turnaround for us, the fact that you've been playing and not just practicing every single day, I think, you know, can be something that can be good for us. You know, I've, I've, I've had... You know, I've liked it both ways, depending on, you know, how we performed. <laughs> I've liked it. We've had a nice week <laughs> off and we played a game kind of almost like we did today. You know, we had, you know, we hadn't played, you know, since what, Saturday and all of a sudden, you know, you don't play the Thursday. So that was a, kind of a nice, you know, opportunity for us to kind of get healthy, to, you know, figure some things out, to get some good quality practices in and then hit the floor. But I've also been in situations where, you know what, you want to stay in rhythm. You know, you're playing well, and you don't want to change that by having a break. And so to see our guys play well tonight, you know, I'm fine for us, you know, turning around and playing quick again. So I should ask you after Memphis. Yeah, you should ask me after Memphis. I may have a different answer for you. <laughs> <laughs> All great, guys. Yeah, Thank you. Appreciate you it, Kerry. All right, guys, you guys have a good day.